Okay, so let's check the diva now. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna set it to 20 Choose and need to get the Malfurion Choose off. Talent. I don't want him to fight the Arthas. I know this should be by basic, just disabled, but. Uh, she has no mount, right? Okay. Oh, she's, she's, she's really slow, right? <laughs> what the fuck? So you have on lane, when the game starts, you have to just use the Q. Okay. Wait, she's really slow. Is Ah, she's even okay. So she's even like... Way slower than normal hero, I see. It's not 100%, but 85. Okay. No wonder it seems really slow. And no wonder she auto-attacks while moving, right? With the movement speed slowed. Is she moving even slower while out attacking? No. The auto attack range is 3.8. Like, I think Rexar once was like. No, wait, Cassia is 4, right? Or 4.4. I think Cassia's is 4, but maybe it's 4.5, no, maybe it's 4. 4, uh, 4. but whatever. It's like pretty much Cassia range. Like, lower, obviously, but it's a tank. Plus it splashes, auto attacks 4 times per second and deals like 40 more per second than that. Tassada? No, Tassada got buffed, he deals more damage now I guess, but like, this is this is, this is more than Tassada, whatever. Unless he gets a quest or something, then maybe it's like similar, or 20 I guess. Uh, the E seems to charge super slowly from just auto attacks. But granted I auto attack only one hero and I could auto attack couple. But yeah what what makes it church? Uh gain one Ah okay so gain one church for every two seconds spent basic attacking and thirty percent charge per one hundred of meh health lost okay so i guess this this is the mech health and then when it depletes to zero i have a second health bar right i guess that's how it is this is not that much hero uh, health for a tank because this is supposed to be tank right uh channel a defensive field in the direct in target direction for three seconds reducing the damage dealt by the enemy heroes inside it cannot turn Damage dealt to the mech from enemies within defense matrix still grants the same amount of self-destruct charge. Wait, it doesn't like what? What? Doesn't make sense, but whatever. Uh... Get through this. So you see, like people can dodge it because you can't like. You can't move it. Like I, I, initi I initially thought that it might be like good against, uh, you know, Cassia. She, like, she's like best or something. She's going with the E and the ultimate, and then you just this, you know, and you reduce her damage by a lot, especially the ball. But like, it's not really useful against Illidan. I don't think it's really useful against like Raymond either. Like, it depends, obviously. I mean, someone can just stay on purpose in it, like, when Greyman focuses you, I guess you try to stay in it on purpose. Okay, the Q deals some damage, increases the movement speed, and I miss not that much damage, but they are knocked down. No, not stunned, so I don't... Wait, knock away, does it interrupt stuns? I mean, does it in in interrupt channeling? You can only do it once. Can only knock back once. So it's not like you know, min minute uh, butter from Chen, a mini cake from Chen, and then you have the self destruction. Oh, what? So it what? So the closer you are to someone, this. Okay. So you can try to outplay it by <laughs> getting closer to it, but it's still a lot of damage. Okay. But <laughs> really? This. 
Wait. Scammers. Deals. 875 to 2k 631 damage in launch area. Um, so maybe they close at the. Okay, I'm, uh, okay, maybe they close. Okay, whatever. Okay, so the closer you are to it, the more damage it deals. Okay, so it's just like a broken, right? You VP someone? GG, open meet, GG. Game on. <sighs> okay. Let's see at the talents. Uh... But yeah, it seems to take maybe like long time to charge it. And if you don't really have the setup, you know, for it. Can hero as slow as this and probably dealing not really much damage. And the W might be awkward to use. Can it be that strong, you know, that's that's the question. The E is for sure super strong. And like I don't know if you if like if you catch opponents into VP and just use this, then it's like a fucking team wipe, team wipe, right? Possibly. How much damage she deals in this? really fast and that's a lot of damage she still she, she still auto attacks uh, four times per second it's really huge damage um, has a huge DPS Game on. but uh, what was the HP Okay, 2k HP and no spells. She later soon get ultimates, right? Okay. Why does it charge? Ah, if the if the because oh, the explosion gives me the mech always, right? Now I'll show them. Yeah. Nerf this. Yeah, the explosion always gives you mech back or something, right? Yeah. And then you have to stack it again. Okay. Okay, so let's see the quest. If divas. Neither takes nor deal damage during booster, it couldn't since lowered by 5 seconds. So this is like further mobility, which might be probably like go to. Choose a talent. <laughs> you deal damage? It doesn't work, okay. Uh, the other quest. Initial speed of Buster is increased by a lot, then decays to normal speed. During this time, Buster deals 100 more damage. Okay, that is interesting. This is really interesting because, like, Choose a time. what the fuck? Choose a talent. Choose a talent. 
I mean, that's... That adds like decent amount of damage. Mm, damage enemy heroes with boosters. After damaging 25 heroes, each use of boosters lowers his cooldowns by 1 second per hero hit. Okay. I don't know about this talent. Kinda forces maybe unhealthy usage, you know, like you like maybe not necessary. Like how long it lasts, and can you be stunned during it? Can't be slowed, but probably still can be stunned, right? But I guess you take it, talent. and you you have time to hit like two people and still move away. Then if you complete it. Reduced by one second. If, you, if, I, if I hit two, reduced by two seconds. Three by three seconds. I don't know. I, I think too much for what it gives. If it was like 20, then maybe. I think the hit the Nitrus is really good. Possibly. Like the rush down also. Uh, uh, Diva's max gain 2% movement speed for one second each time it takes damage, okay? That's also like interesting. Choose a talent. Choose you a can talent. go past the... You might want this, actually. You know, you might want this, and it doesn't deplete like instantly. It depletes one by one. Okay. So might might want to get get this in all cases. Like that depends on the compositions, I guess. Those two are also good and like pro moves. The crash course is like I don't know about it. The area of defense matrix is 100% wider and 25 longer, but Diva cannot move for the duration. Okay. Choose a talent. What the fuck? Get through this. Hmm. There might be cases when you want that. Can. Yeah. It is interesting for sure. Choose a talent. Mm, talent. Increase the duration of defensive matrix by three seconds. I don't know. I mean, that might be all that you want to do. Maybe you just want to like keep it on someone. But I don't know. Since like the heroes that you might ha you might want to completely negate. Are usually mobile too. Like, okay, Sonya, yeah, you can do it, I guess. Arthas, yeah, but like the Greymans, Genjis, Illidans, even the Anubs, like, you're not gonna have that easy time keeping it because you can't turn. You can't turn with it. Maybe there's a talent that lets you actually, like, turn or something. Every time an enemy hero deals damage while inside Defense Matrix, Diva self destruction increased by 1%. Okay, Max. Okay, that's that's probably the one that you want with the first one being a potential usage, like being a useful potentially too in some cases. And bring it on. Self destruction charge amount gain from losing mech is increased by 30. Self destruction charge amount gain from losing mech increased by 30. Okay. I want to see how ha what happens when you lose the mech normally. Injecting. What? Why I have it back again? Now I'll show them. 
Ah, uh, cause I have two go cooldowns maybe? Shit. Ah, uh, come on. Ah, okay, so it has cooldown. No way. Ah, basic attacks lower by. Okay. And auto attacks reduce that. Ah, okay. Okay, shit, man, that was hard. Okay, the self destruction, this one. So if I put this, like the this, pink, pink, is the self destruction church. Right. Okay, cause that 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 bugs me because you have two pink bars, and why in why in like diva form or pilot form you have uh, how much is needed to get the mech back, which probably also tells opponents whether you have it or not, how much time they have to kill you. I mean, if they want, and while in mech form, it says how much uh, charge you have. So that, that was kind of bugging me off now, but I got it now. Maybe they could change the colors, but whatever. I guess you can get used to it. Um. So I wonder. I mean, I guess all are fine. I just want like is it either fusion generator will be the like basic go to or or maybe the bring it on but wait damage dealt to the mech from enemies within different matrix still grants the same amount of self destruction charge I don't get this cuz like Because this says 30% charge per 100% of mech health loss. So like, why does this text is here? Like, whatever. Like, if you mech this des destroys, uh, you will lose. I mean, you will get 30%, right? So I, I just don't get it, kind of. I don't know. I don't know why it's added there. Maybe I'm just missing something, whatever. But... All of them seems fine. Maybe even the diverty power can, could be potential. Uh, just go to choose a time because you can like you uh, lower the damage on a lot of heroes. Mm. You can get probably stun while doing so, right? Yeah, you probably can get stun while doing so. So I don't know actually. If they have like multiple stands or like Tyrandi will be back in the meta, you know, or they have Anup, you know, e easy stun, right? Hmm. So against like easy stuns, you probably want to bring it on. In other cases, maybe this, if you want to generate the bomb and in other, you might one of this. Okay, coming through, knockback distance of bosses increased by 100. Didn't felt it really. <laughs> okay. It's not Overwatch though. You can't knock people off the edge. But okay. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Enemy heroes affected by defensive matrix are, are slowed. This is this is interesting. Probably like more useful than this really. I mean, 
Okay, this might be good for maybe boss steals. Potentially. Anything else like that? Yeah, just probably like boss steals. Uh, basic attacks in mech mod against heroes lower the cooldown of defense matrix by. Okay, this is like this might be that just go two so you can like use it multiple times. Choose a talent. Defense matrix activated. Is it really working? I guess it is. Okay, uh, that's, that's that's like might be the go-to. Inca self-destruction detona detonation timer by three seconds. Detonation damage increased by fifty. A new mech can still be called after four seconds. I mean, this is also probably really good. Choose the uh, and Choose the thing the is, like Blizzard probably thinks, like you know, Blizzard probably thinks that additional three seconds is a drawback. But releasing hero with such big damage is retarded. That I can tell you. And Choose a talent. making the damage even bigger doesn't stop anything. Cause if it's like an important curse or it's like important boss or like whatever, like fucking infernal shrines even. The fuck you do? Choose a talent. Nerf this. What this makes is just that zo it zones opponents for a longer time. What the fuck? Everything disappeared. Okay, granted. Okay, gr granted that you can. It may. Be, well, it depends how you use it actually. In what place? Because imagine like there's a like altar that you want to cap on Towers of Doom, right? This. And this zones the people from, but they can still come, shoot, and move away. So maybe there's some counter play around it. Depends how, how depends on the situation, how it is placed, right? Because like, if you have to pass through it, then maybe then you will probably not make it in time to the other side, and then, well, you either go deeper into enemy comp alone, or you try to back, but you are getting to the center of the explosion, which will just one shot you, you know. So the self destruction, the, the additional timer, I mean, uh, yeah, it's not necessarily a drawback. You know, you're not really gonna combo it with BP unless you do like BP into Mao into this. But you know, some people know how it works in competitive. It never works, Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. this. It also knocks stuff away. Nerf this. Yeah, what the fuck? It also knocks things away. Like, hello. <laughs> Good luck fighting for the like uh, final boss that will end the game if you don't have sanctification. Like, sanctification obviously a good thing. Like, probably Tyrael is what will make Diva like uh, awkward. Like, cause like I don't think she's that good up outside of the ultimate. I mean. E, e in this case, it is not ultimate for some reason, you know. I gotta check the ultimate too. But yeah, Tyrael just nullifies it, right? What else? It's like VP, self VP, I guess. You, but you kind of want to have like you, you probably want to have Ziratul against. Is it? Like Ziratul probably overall is just is good against her. Like what the fuck she does against Ziratul, right? She doesn't have that much damage. She has no armor. VP is a good deny because they might want to have like uh, zero tool against her. I mean with her and like yeah, zero tool you can self you can like VP your team so they don't take damage. I don't know if you can VP the explosion maybe I don't know. Of course you can like VP like zero tool but you can VP your team. Yeah, that's how that nullification is probably a good option too. Okay, so now the broke back ultimate. <laughs> Choose a talent. Uh, Bunny hop. 90 seconds cooldown. She becomes unstoppable and 
stumps every half a second, dealing not much damage, slowing by quite a decent amount. Okay, so you can cancel it. I mean, over the duration it deals decent amount of damage, I guess, in AoE. What is this? <laughs> what is this ultimate? Ugh, man. Okay. Keeps you unstoppable. And pills for yourself or for the for your team. Can be used like as an age engage too, right? I guess. Nice. Choose Let's see the other one. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Big shot. Yeah, really big. <clears throat> it deals damage to everyone. Yeah, okay. Pretty big wrench. But it has like charge time. So people can try to sidestep it. <clears throat> and the uh, cooldown of Call Mac is reduced by 6 seconds for each enemy hero hit. Okay. Hmm. I know, I've got, I've got really. I mean, I think Diva is really all about the E, and that's it. Uh, but I will have to see in games how it feels like, how tanky she is, how much the W the, 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 does, you know, how much damage she actually deals like out of the mech, you know. We we'll have to see those th things to say. But I think she's all about the E, and like how fast you can charge it, how much value can you get out of it. To increase mech health by 20, but also increase the cooldown of call mech by 50. This does not decrease the ammo of self destruction charge, okay? Choose a talent. Yeah, that's a lot of additional HP, but do you really want it? I don't think you really want it. I mean, depends, I guess, but. Choose a talent. The thing is. Choose a talent. You know, if, talent. if you're close to be dead with it, right? Then you just eat. If this explodes, you try to survive and, e and you have like full HP again, right? Which is like, okay, like if you pick this, then you have like 40 additional HP, right? You have like twice additional HP. I mean, so yeah, it is fine in that case too, right? But it's not necessarily needed that additional HP because you get double mech, but like if you look at it the second, in the second way, then like you have two HP bars in increased by 20, so like in that way it's good uh, the me the re-entering the mech took more time because of the level 7 no wait i didn't take it actually wait what I, it fell long for some reason okay uh when diva's mech would be destroyed it instead gains a shield that absorbs 500 damage over six seconds this effect has okay so this is almost almost 20% of HP, so this is probably better, you know, because it is like 50, 15, like, it is probably like 15%, no, it's like, I don't know, the math is too hard, but like, Choose this gives me wa 1k, okay, so this is like 10%, Choose a talent. okay, it's like 10%, whatever, Choose a talent. I probably could just look Choose at something and count it, Choose I mean, obviously this is fucking 10%, I can just like, add a zero to it, okay, uh, so this is like 10% shield and it doesn't add a cooldown to the mech afterwards. Yeah, 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 I know, 10%. <laughs> Math on stream is hard, okay. Uh, so this seems interesting. Wait, how much? I guess boss will best me the fastest way. <laughs> the timing. Can I get out of? 
Wait, I can, okay, I can get like out of the stun. Okay, get the shield. Okay. I mean, depends how valuable it is to stay in the mech compared to, you know, to not stay in it. <laughs> but I think this is potentially better, you know. And not to mention that this makes like F, like, uh, Greyman's bullet, like, technically better, you know, deals more damage, like giant killer, you know, stuff like this. So you probably don't want to take it against, like, percentage damage, like Liori, you know, giant killers, like, Greyman's, etc. Uh, the third talent is damage against Diva Mech that will deal 5 or less of its maximum health are reduced by 50. It's not... It's does not decrease the ammo of self-destruction charge. Okay, so this is probably the best overall. <laughs> I, I, like against, uh, especially like gleaming, I guess, right? This is like a spell shield or something. Like permanent spell shield. Right. Damage that will deal five or less. Oh wait, five or less. Ah, okay, wait. Five or less. So this reduces like uh, auto attack damage only, right? Or am I wrong? Yeah, she's drinking Mountain Dew or something like that. <laughs> um. Yeah, it actually says it takes less damage from weak attacks. Yeah. So it's not like a spell seed. I took it, I understand it wrong. I thought it's five or more, but it's five or less. Uh, huh. So like good against, like good against a lot of auto attack heroes, I guess. But still might be good against Liming's Q, possibly. Depends how the game calculates it. As a three damage sources of like one instant one. Not sure even about auto attacks, to be honest. It's about damage that deals less than... Ah, oh, level 20, yeah. Huh. I mean, Tycho's damage, okay? Two hundred twenty-five AA or less gets reduced. So this is... This is... Uh, this is a talent for good... Uh, for people that are good with math, okay? That can quickly remember what is the auto attack damage of the people on an enemy team and just calculate whether it's worth or not like but most tanks don't deal that much aa damage so it's good against them like against atas it is probably really good right it reduces his e his auto attacks plus there might be a couple of other heroes that don't deal that much damage right versus atas uh probably still good against vala because uh, she needs before she gets 10 stack because probably at 10 stack she deals more Mm. Yeah, Falsa, a lot of heroes with auto attacks, like, the, you know, like Greyman probably deals more, especially in Greyman form, but maybe in the human form, not really. Falsa gets season, like, season marksman, so he eventually gets past that. Yeah, Tassadar, you know, you, Tassadar just, what, tas, what Tassadar does? while out attacking uh, D.Va with this talent. Because normally, when Tassadar auto-attacks someone, he heals him, right? So I think if you take this talent and uh, Tassadar auto-attacks you, he probably not only heals you, but he also probably, like, shields you? Yeah, probably. He might even apply a shield to you if he auto-attacks you. Kappa. This is Tracer Killer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Genji Killer, right? I always got... Annoyed when I had to deal with D.Va like whenever I was playing Overwatch D.Va was just sitting on my dick and I can't do shit because in Overwatch she has armor So my shuriken deals like nothing to her and she just like pressures me off So it's also good against Genji, right? And Genji is... I think really strong Like it just wrecks Genji actually like she deals no damage. I mean he deals no damage to her, right? Like, his shurikens are nerfed, his auto attacks is nerfed. Okay. Potentially good against uh, Genji too. Mm, 
Dash as a pilot. What? Diva gains the torpedo dash ability. What the fuck? Okay, I Choose want to see talent. this. What the fuck? Nerf this. Ah, okay. Well, okay. I, I thought it would be something like more fancy. <laughs> I don't know what I just imagined, but I thought it would look more funny. Like the if you play WoW, the, like the monk cheerol, but the healing one. It's actually no. It is actually this. Sadly, the two group cooldown doesn't work for it. Ah, we can use that chance to check the dance. So mean, what the fuck? I mean, both of those look like taunt, to be honest. Okay. Um. Choose a talent. Ding. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Okay, so it doesn't work ag against Leeming Q. Regardless, like the Leeming could pick uh, ability power on level 1 and then it would be probably, you know, stronger anyway. Uh, GG, well played. Okay, increase pilot mode. What the? Increase pilot mode, basic attacks damage. What the? F Participating in the takedown while in pilot instantly refers to. What the fuck? Indeed, GG, well played, man. Okay. A what the fuck? Wait, I want to see on Arthas. This is like carry, right? This is a carry hero, right? That's oh wait, ah oh, no, you can get both shit. I don't have Arthas. Oh, we don't have to see it on Arthas. Let's see it on something else. Maybe like Anubarak, you know. Man, the core rush, you know, you just go core rush and like... Not to mention, like when you go for core, right? This deals like 2k, like almost 3k damage and then you auto attack like crazy. Seems good. And if you make a takedown, you can instantly call a mech. Okay. This seems really good. Like this seems really good. What the fuck? Choose a talent. Choose okay. a talent. Because uh, like you know, you, you can potentially get a lot of mechs and a lot of double HP bars, right? You just go with first one, explode, get the second one, and then they kill you. They kill it, but like. Since it's long fight already, if that happened, then you might get the takedown, then you get the mech. Yeah. Does the like ultimates refreshes if you enter the mech? Probably not, right? Mm. And if you put Tassadar shield on it, like she, she with Tassadar shield, she probably heals like crazy. Let me let me check that. Uh, friendly hero. I hope that Asada will shield me, but you never know. Oh, wait. Choose a talent. Asada, Antaro, Asada, or whatever, shield me, assist me, team. Oh, thank you. Assist me again. Shield! No. Don't want to do easy camp. Shield me! Not yourself, not like this. Tasadar, please. Hello? Shield? Team?
Shit, I'm in danger. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Decent, I guess. You're free, Tassadar. Okay. Mm and what's doing? What this talent's doing? Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose mm, a talent. For four seconds after ejecting from mech, Diva gains 50 armor, and her basic attacks grant 50% more cooldown reduction towards Call Mech. Four seconds after ejecting. You gain 50 armor and her basic attacks grants. I think this level 16 is so unfair. It is so unfair. What the fuck? You can skill into everything. You can skill into everything on it. Whatever counters you, you can skill it to counter what counters you, you know. If there's no threat, you just go this. As easy as it is. Alright. If you if what they want to do is just kill you after they kill your mech, then you just can get this one. Hmm. And it also it is also good like even if even if you don't get the value out of it, it's still good uh, because it's uh, make it faster to get the mech back. You know the second part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pilot made basic attacks have 20% increased range and slow enemy movements by. Okay. Pilot mode basic attack have twenty percent increased range and slow movement. What the fuck? You're kidding me right now. Choose a talent. What the fuck man like she has already like broken auto attack damage. Even without the GG well played, right? But she can slow also and have like like this is way better than Nexus Frenzy that would you would normally get at 20 because this app slows in attack range and your auto attack damage is already like insane and you have the auto attack range from it and the attack speed I mean is like insane. what the fuck man okay the level 16 is really strong <laughs> yeah yeah Kunichan. <laughs> Okay. Stop and pop. What the fuck? Stop and pop, man. Please. Pew pew pew. Chibated. Okay, let's see this one. I mean, okay, if that ever. In terms of like just pure. Uh, point stomp you know like boss stomp or something if there's ever like a more broken hero than this i don't think it's possible to actually make a more broken hero in terms of boss fights I don't i don't mean like uh, you know explosion zone or like Tyrion's holy ground i don't talk now about like boss securing mechanics or like boss steel mechanics i just like pure quick match no steel mechanics game Level 20, you just like do this, you know. It probably just wrecks people. How much damage it deals? Not too many. You, you just get there. You just get there. They can't even stop you. Like, just, yo! Nice boss, guys. Nice boss. Of course, you don't move. And you do even this. You just have to get like Divine Shield or something. Wait, does it not explode if Diva is killed? I wonder. Because that could be potential counterplay, you know. When, like, Nova just kills her, you know, before the mech explodes. That's, it should be like this. Nova would be actually in Mita, you know? She jumps out, uh, basic combo, you don't even have to use ultimate to kill her. 
<laughs> just rewind or something. But yeah, you get on boss and just like. Alright, I wanted to see how much damage it deals, but I was moving, fuck. Okay. Nice. Not to mention that, like, pick and people don't do damage on the boss, right? Okay. Pew pew pew. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Oh shit. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Nerf this! Take the shot! Wait, the first one? Oh. Okay, but I guess both of those just big shot fires three shots. Each shot deals 50 damage. So it deals more damage than it normally is supposed to, but I guess it just gives you the mech fast, right? Uh, shit, I need to lose it. Okay, also the big part is that she has no mana, right? So she doesn't need mana on HP. Okay, yeah, so it makes it like easier uh, to get the mech back, which is like, you know, technically really uh, strong, right? Because you can have like second, like you can get uh, another 400, uh, 4k, 500 HP back, right? Pretty quickly with it. So it is... Technically strong, right? In theory. If you went for that talent, you might as well pick this, but not, gotta see the other ones. Okay. Diva uh, gains low. the Consuci Pulse ability, allowing her to deal to enemies in a con and knock them back. Requires pilot mode. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. I mean, okay, so. <laughs> you have even another boss securing mechanic, right? <laughs> if it was already not enough, right? If, if Blizzard were not sure if D.Va can actually win a boss fight, right? Let's just make sure she does. But I, I don't know about that, I mean... I mean, it is good. It is good, probably. Like, you know, you jump out of the mech, right? Push them away so they don't get damaged, Kappa. Or you, or, you know, you can do combo, right? If they fight you. And you, may, you, have, you, you, pro, you might have this, right? The armor, so they can't even kill you. So you just bait them around it. Right? Nerf this. You have the armor and then you just push them in. GG well played. Oh wait. Wait, she Diva wait, Diva okay, yeah yeah yeah. Diva is probably sick with the Tyrant this D activated. Uh like when she auto attacks she heals two percent of maximum HP or like three three percent or something like right? with Diva since she attacks so much she probably heals for tons right yeah yeah okay and the other and the last choose one a talent. choose a talent choose a talent wait what Cal Mecha is instant and can target the location upon landing the mech deals damage to enemies in the impact area the fuck <laughs> Wait, it's instant? Normally it's not instant? Nerf this. I mean, this is like, as this is only good on like objective fights, like that, that stays like, you know, I mean, it is good. It is really good upgrade. Like usually they fuck up with, I mean, not fuck up, but like, they don't really make the ultimates be pickable in any situation, you know. This is something that you can pick. This is something that you can pick and it, it is actually like 
in Fury really good. The usually the other talents are the one that you want to be, and this is maybe not the strongest, but it is uh, interesting because it's like self heal and has a lot of other uses. Deals decent damage, uh, but it's not uh, like this is interesting. Like, this is interesting too. Like a really, really like solid twenties. Choose a talent. Nerf this. Okay, there's some delay, so can she can probably get stunned, right? Yeah, she probably can get stunned or something, but I wonder what's the cooldown then. But yeah, that would be it for it. I mean, the, okay, maybe the build that I would recommend, right? So I think the pro moves, also, it all depends, but the pro moves seems really good. It all depends on, like, what what are you playing against, like, those two and pro moves are really good. Level 4 is really, you just adjust, all seems fine. The bring it on is really interesting. Fusion generator is probably the one that you want, because I think like she's really about the self-destruction. Like, like, I'm pretty sure she's all about self-destruction actually, because it's not only insane zoning, insane damage, but it is also a free recharge of your HP. So you probably want one of those. Choose and the then at 7, if you went for this one, uh, then you want the basic attacks to reduce the cooldown so you can spam it as much so you can get your E back and you explode and explode and get back into mech and you do the same. Uh, the slow is interesting but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you want this one. This one is also like, you know, interesting. Uh, uh, but let's say this will be the build that I would recommend, I guess. Ultimate, like, both are fine, depends on the map, I guess. This just makes you get easier to the mech, but since you might play in a way, like, with this build, that you just, you know, go in, I mean, you waste your HP, you self-destruct, you try to survive, and then you get in other mech, then you don't really need the big shot, so you get the bunny hop, right? And then, this is nice for the playstyle uh, yeah I mean in this playstyle you probably want exp expensive play plating yeah but this is good against like Arthas, Genji, low out attack heroes like pretty much right Choose a time. and This is like totally up to you. I guess. Torpedo is nice to make sure that you don't die while doing that playstyle. It, it is just based on how, how the games go. Like if you're snowballing or you're not, if you feel like you might die afterwards, you know. Torpedo, all of those are good. It's just fully situ situational. Um, I think this is the best possibly. Like it all depends on the composition. All depends on composition because this adds a lot of damage. But this the range is really interesting and the slow too, you know. Not to mention that, you know, it also uh, you explode and then you can slow someone. So he has harder time to get away, right? So it has that combo in. And then like twenties are like probably the the mecha fall is pretty nice for that base style, right? Because then you can just go in. Consecutive pulse is really situ situational, I would say. I guess in this build especially, but you can go for the stop and pop if that's a lot. Of, if there's a lot of like objective fights that are stationary, which is like uh, they don't even really need to be stationary. Probably like depends on your comp. If you like, because you can peel with it and deal a lot of damage. Like, it depends on the compositions of both teams. But yeah, if it's like Infernal Shrine, they, it might get additional value too because it kills the, you know, skeletons. She will probably be so strong on this. Like insane, insane actually. Might possibly like yeah. What the fuck, man? She has AOE attack for it. Double HP bar. A what the fuck? Why? Blizzard, why such hero? Why diva? But yeah, I guess mecha fail, right? Go in, do some damage, do some bunny hops, explosion, 
you auto attack for the slow. You jump again. That was a pretty big range actually from the explosion. And that would be it for the diva.